Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here's your latest integral of the day. We have an indefinite integral of 1 over cosine theta plus sine 2 theta d theta. So if you want to pause the video, try it on your own. Baby hint, you're going to do something similar to what I did in an integral of the day last week where I multiplied top and bottom by something sneaky so I could do a u-sub. Okay, so let's just jump right in. I'm going to replace sine 2 theta using the double angle identity because I'm looking and cosine's argument is just theta. So we should usually want them to match up, you know? Okay, great. Now I'm thinking, let me try to do a U sub, but I have nothing really to be du. So you have two options, right? Either U is going to be cosine theta or U is going to be sine theta. And then you have to just kind of play out both options and see which one works. If u was cosine theta, du would be negative sine theta d theta. That one doesn't work. <laughs> if you want to sit there and see why, if you multiply top and bottom by sine theta, what happens is, I'll do it really quick. Um, then you'll have the in the denominator sine theta cosine theta plus 2 sine squared theta cosine theta. And remember, u was cosine theta. This would be du, negative du. This I could write as 1 minus u squared, but then you're stuck with this sine theta to the first. So this one doesn't work. You go, er, abort mission. Probably then u has to be sine theta, which means du would be cosine theta d theta. So if that's the substitution I'm going to try, then I need to multiply top and bottom by cosine theta. So let's see, hopefully that works out better, and it does. So we've got integral, cosine theta d theta over, and then we can just distribute this cosine theta on through, so beautiful, and it's going to be cosine squared theta plus 2 sine theta cosine squared theta. Okay, how you doing? Excellent. Now let me factor out the cosine squared theta that's in the denominator. And then we're almost ready to do our u sub. Don't get carried away and too excited and cancel out cosine theta. Remember, we added an extra one there on purpose. So now it's time to do this u sub. u is going to be sine theta. du is cosine theta d theta. And that's not a problem because this I can write as 1 minus sine squared theta. So now my integral simplifies to, instead of cosine theta d theta in the numerator, just du. And then the denominator is going to be 1 minus u squared times 1 plus 2u. Good? Wow. Okay, so now we have a rational function. Let's go ahead, find its partial fraction decomposition, and then hopefully we can just finish off the problem from there. So partial fraction time. And then notice the denominator isn't completely factored. 1 minus u squared, I can break that down into 1 plus u and 1 minus u. So let's do that. There we go. 1 minus u, 1 plus u, and then we have 1 plus 2u. The denominator is composed of entirely linear factors, so the decomposition We'll just have the form a over 1 minus u plus b over 1 plus u plus c over 1 plus 2u. Perfect. So next step, you're going to multiply everything by the LCD, which in this case is 1 minus u, 1 plus u, and 1 plus 2u. So then we're left with 1 equals a times 1 plus u times 1 plus 2u plus b times 1 minus u times 1 plus 2u plus c times 1 minus u times 1 plus u. Whew. Okay, I can start substituting in different values for u and solve for a, b, and c. Let's go ahead, let's let u equal negative 1. Then I have 1 equals, you see how if u is negative 1, this factor is 0, so all of this is just 0. And then I'm still going to have b times 
1 minus negative 1, that's 2. And then 1 plus 2 times negative 1, that's negative 1. This is all going to be 0 if u is negative 1. So then I have 1 equals negative 2b, so b is negative 1 half. Okay, let's keep the fun going. Let's let u equal negative 1 half. Then I have 1 equals, I chose that, so this factor is 0, so this whole term has gone. This factor is 0, this whole term is gone. And then now I'm going to substitute in negative 1 half for u, so I have c times 1 minus negative 1 half, that's going to be 3 halves. And then 1 plus a negative 1 half, that's another half. So that's 3 fourths C equals 1. So C is 4 thirds. And then lastly, let's go ahead, let's let U equal positive 1. Then I have 1 equals A times 1 plus 1, that's 2. 1 plus 2, that's 3. Plus, if U is positive 1, this is 0, so this is gone. This is 0, so this is gone. So 6a is 1, so a is 1 over 6. Okay, back to the integral. We've got our decomposition. How exciting. So we have integral a was 1 sixth over 1 minus u. b was negative 1 half, so I'll just put minus a half over 1 plus u. And then c is 4 thirds over 1 plus 2u du. Okay, we're home free. So we've got 1 sixth ln absolute value 1 minus u for the antiderivative. Since there's a minus sign in front of the u, I need a negative outside. I'm not going to do another substitution. Hopefully by now you can handle that. Minus 1 half ln absolute value 1 plus u plus 4 thirds I'm going to need a 1 half outside because of the 2 in front of the u. ln absolute value 1 plus 2u plus c. And then just go back. Remember, u was our good friend sine theta. So we can clean up a bit more. Negative 1 sixth ln absolute value 1 minus sine theta minus 1 half ln absolute value 1 plus sine theta 4 thirds times 1 half that simplifies that's just going to be plus 2 thirds ln absolute value 1 plus 2 sine theta plus c how much does it bother us that the positive one's not first it's bothering me a great deal i'm putting this guy first you don't have to Obviously, it's personal preference, but I don't like it the way it was. I don't think you would lose points on an exam or anything. If one of you wants to sit around there and try to combine the logs and tell me if it looks better after, have at it, but I'm done. I got to go ride my Peloton, and then I'm off to hot yoga, and I just found out my favorite teacher is subbing. So I'm extra excited for the hot yoga. And then I'm going to go teach Calc 3. So I'm ending the problem here. You tell me how you solved it. Did you do something differently? I'm very curious. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below if you struggled, solved it with great the greatest of ease, hated the problem, loved the problem. I'm curious. And then I'll be back sooner than later with more videos for you guys. You can also check out the rest of my playlist if you need help with integration techniques. And follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Math with Professor V. Thank you guys so much for your support. I love you all, and I'll be back sooner than later. I think I said that. Okay, bye!